Hello, hello, hello everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over, uh, can you make uh, algo trading with interactive brokers, pretty well any broker, a small business out of it? And yes, you can. Let me show you some examples here. Um, so first of all, let me take you over to the screen here. Uh, if you're ever interested and want to get on our email list, just get over to quantlabs.net slash contact, get on our email list, which we send out every day. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, our MotoWave uh, trading platform. We don't own it, obviously, but we just use it for um, trading with analysis. Um, so with that, we do harmonic scans against OENDA data. And from there, what we do is we have a bunch of assets that we can look at um, that could be potentially good places to hedge against the sinking stock markets, which have been pretty well all year, have been pretty dismal. Um, if you look at uh, Yahoo Finance here, everything's all red, with the exception of gold, oil, um, some currencies as well, and the rest of them. So let me show you these the ones that are doing okay. So um, from here, these are just some samples of uh, that you could put money into ETFs. Um, let me show you here. The first one we'll look at is BCO Brent crude. So you could buy an oil ETF, and uh, you can see here in a monthly, it's gone on a really good trend there for the last little while. That weekly chart there as well. And then also you can do the same thing with certain uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, one example here is uh, British pound against the New Zealand dollar. Um, let me show you that. So, okay, GBP against uh, the New Zealand dollar. And here we have a little bit of action here. Um, here we go. Here you can see some decent bars here with the weekly. It's moved up a little bit daily. Same thing. It's looking pretty good. So there's that one. Another good pair so far is the pa British pound against the um, Australian dollar is another one. GBP against the Australian dollar. So here's a decent one. Uh, the daily. A little bit um, trending. Not as good as the other one, obviously, but it's better than losing. And then let me just show you gold. Um, again, you can buy these ETFs as well. So some of these are just some examples um, of what is worthy. So XAU, gold, and then let's say Canadian dollars. You can see gold is up pretty good. That's on a monthly view. Uh, weekly here as well, it's been fairly fat, flat, but daily it's a little choppy but you could probably long term make some money so with that in mind um, uh, what I want to show you is obviously this is just one asset class of um, where you can do okay with but if you um, go over to our store quantlabs.shop um, what I'll be doing is I'll be closing off our sale that we've had if you want to learn about our cryptocurrency course this one right here Ninety-seven dollars. Uh, that's with if you're in the states, probably recommend to go with Kraken, the, the exchange out of San Francisco. And also, um, what I'm doing as part of the sale, if you want to get all my web recorded webinars of the last year, you can get this. I'll throw that in for free. Here's a current price on an annual basis, so you'll get that for free. And this one for that cheap price of ninety-seven bucks, pretty good, eh? Okay, let's continue looking at some of the other surprises that you think are not doing so much. Let's look at uh, the rupee. Uh, the USD and um, the rupee has been climbing pretty good. And uh, again, so if you're just running a algorithmic uh, business, this is just a monthly view. Uh, just holding that, it's a pretty good move. India has been fairly strong. Uh, actually, US dollar against the rupee has been strong, but it's going up, so it's a good long. Um, another one I think will pop is copper. You'll notice here I'm not choosing a lot of the US indices because the hot capital right now is not in um, 
U.S. market indices or stock markets. They're in these asset classes where the hot capital flows. That's why I use this for harmonic scans. Um, so here's another good one on a monthly view is wheat. Oh, sorry, copper. So you can see it, it's 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 moved up quite a bit. It's gone flatline, but once this pandemic uh, is over or signs of it, this should strengthen it as China starts to move up. And it looks like it's already happening because um, that's a a uh, a uh, used for manufacturing as an input. Now another one that is surprising me is platinum. So if I look up at this one, so you can see these are fairly easy returns as long as you know about them. Um, so as an example here, um, the platinum here, this is another good one. And you can easily do this uh, using the equivalent of um, ETFs with interactive brokers and you pay pretty low commission fees. You can see this could be in, in a slight reversal here. Um, it's starting to show some strength. It had between March and uh, over a year run there. So it's, a, it's actually a little better than um, uh, gold, surprisingly. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones I can show you which are, uh, if you want to take advantage of the inflation trade is with um, is with uh, food or agricultural products. So if you look at soybean, this has been uh, going up quite a bit. You can see here uh, that inflation is starting to kick in and will kick in for quite a few months. So that's a really good one to get into on a monthly basis. So these are uh, typical classic buy and hold. Uh, another one you could probably take advantage of is corn um, as well. And that one's not as steep. Um, you can see there it's starting to reverse as well and uh, as inflation takes kicks in uh, for a lot of people I just realized if you want a couple of uh, paper towels it's seventy dollars so it's pretty crazy pricing this one's usually the better one out of the agriculturals that we have access to is with wheat see that just on that daily view it's been moving up quite a bit and there's that okay so that's pretty well it so if you want to take advantage of learning something like crypto um, go to our store at quantlabs.shop and just hit collections and then you'll find this cryptocurrency course. Um, also, uh, again, if you want to get onto our email newsletter, um, just go to quantlabs.net slash contact and then that will get you onto our um, email list that we send out every day as long as you engage with it by just clicking stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching, and uh, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.